Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I have a beautiful topic today. And the topic is that we must learn how to be a mirror reflection for the light rather than a sponge for the darkness. So I was recently in a petty, ridiculous argument with someone in my life who tends to lean negative. She, she's just a little bit negative Nancy sometimes. And, and she's on her own path, and I honor her and I admire her, but I tend to get into the negativity with her. And I started to notice myself picking up the low vibes, just being around the energy. And I stepped away from the argument and from the situation, and I sat in my meditation, and I started to just listen. And what came forth was radical. What came forth was, be the mirror for the light rather than a sponge for the darkness. And I heard it loud and clear. My job isn't to soak up the negativity and fight against the negativity and create more negativity. My job is just to stay grounded and rooted in my conviction and commitment to the light. Stay grounded and committed to positivity, to the truth, which is love, to the truth, which is light, the truth, which is forgiveness and compassion and non-judgment. And to just stay in that space and not necessarily say anything at all or fight back or, or say something that I might regret later, but instead just be in the energy of the light and to trust that being in the presence of that magnitude will be a reflector back to her and that she in effect will start to soften and change. And you can see this even with animals. Like if a dog is freaking out on the, off the leash or it's you know frothing at the mouth and it's wanting to bite you, if you're calm and you're in your peaceful place and you're not soaking up that darkness, the dog can calm down naturally. And this is the same for people. We're all just energy beings bouncing off of each other. And so if we as light workers take on the responsibility to be the mirror for the light, we will have a much easier time dealing with the negative people in our lives. So if you have negative people in your office, just make a commitment every day to sit at your desk as a mirror reflector for the light. Envision that you've got these mirrors around you and the light is reflecting off of you. If you are dealing with a partner, a romantic partner who brings you down or brings negative energy home, be that mirror reflector for the light. If you are, have a friend or a loved one that's just crazy and just wants to go to that negative place, be the mirror reflector for the light. Now let's get real. I understand this isn't completely easy and it's not something that comes naturally to us and it does require a lot of effort and commitment and conviction, but I trust that I know that you are willing to do that. And so start to practice. It's not easy. Get into it. See how it goes. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what comes up for you. Let me know the challenges and let me know the miracles. I hope this helps you. Satnam.